The thing I like about this project the most is that everybody who's a fan of the Chesapeake or a fan of Flying Dog, it's really easy for them to make an impact. And I think with a lot of charities, it's tough because people don't understand how they can give back. You know, with our partnership with Rappahannock, they've made it easy for us. And our partnership with ORP, they made it easy for the consumer in the sense that just buying a pearl necklace or uh, supporting the oyster stout is a direct way to support uh, ORP's efforts in the Bay. In any industry, um, you have leaders and you have followers. Flying Dog is a leader. Um, Flying Dog recognizes the importance of sustainability. Flying Dog recognizes the importance of giving back to your community. Developing the pearl necklace oyster stout, using the Rappahannock oysters, and then giving a percentage of the proceeds back to the oyster recovery, all that together is enabling us to take oysters from the bay, enjoy oysters within your restaurant, enjoying a great beer, and then taking those oysters and then putting them back in the Chesapeake. For me it was fascinating, you know, going to the hatchery and seeing how the oysters are grown, reintroduced into the bay. I think it's something that a lot of people don't really know that much about. So I think by Flying Dog doing a collaboration and bringing some attention to that, it, it's beneficial for, for everybody. So right now we're sitting at Meroir, which is their uh, oyster tasting room on the banks of the Rappahannock River. We'd say to everyone, you know, if you want to like do your part to save the Chesapeake Bay, eat an oyster. Eat a farm-raised oyster because every oyster that you eat, odds are the company that, that sold it is going to be able to put, you know, a dozen more into the Chesapeake Bay. I didn't realize until I see people reading the bottle how important it is to them. Everything from the nutrient aspect of the oysters and how that lends itself to the bay to people feeling like they know the origin of what they're consuming. They know where the beer is brewed and it's something a little bit understandable in this high-tech age. They know where the oysters are coming from. Oysters are the, the foundation from which all the other living organisms will grow. The reef provides the habitat for other species. They filter the bay's waters. They're a food source by providing that habitat where other fish will grow. I mean, it's that important to the overall bay's health. Most of the oysters you eat in restaurants are actually farm-raised. 90-95% of those oysters that you eat are raised on a farm, like Travis's. We take it back, we'll recycle it, and then we'll put baby oysters on it and plant it back out in the bay. Well, the guys at Rappahannock are great. They are a family business. Uh, they've been around for quite some time, and, and Travis uh, sort of pulled the business out of dormancy. And they're thriving and distributing their oysters nationwide, and their oysters are respected as some of the best in the country. And I think that um, just hanging out with the guys and, and what they felt was important to their business, uh, we had a lot of things in common. When I started brewing 20 years ago, you know, I didn't really picture myself you know, spending a day out on the Chesapeake and. Uh, you know, harvesting oysters. Uh, so yeah, uh, for, for me, I think that these, these types of experiences, uh, to be able to learn, to be able to collaborate with interesting people is, is very valuable. It's a special part of my job.